So, how do you think the night went then? Welcome to Southampton. By day, a sleepy port town with a high street football stadium and on drizzly afternoons, the boats sail away into the sunset. But at night, the club doors open. The club scene is always hectic, but in three weeks, Southampton's biggest clubs will go head to head to draw in the punters on one of the busiest nights of the year, the Maybank holiday. Over the next three weeks, we'll be following two of the city's biggest clubs to see who comes out on top. So let's meet the clubs. The team, made up of uh, three generals, uh, myself, Richard um, Gilbert and uh, Richard Sims, um, if we had to be labelled, I'm the promotions manager, um, you've got Richard Sims, and he's the club manager, and then you've got uh, Rich Gilbert, who's the owner, and he basically works al uh, alongside me. Uh, and Gilbert, he's a laugh, he's a right crack. He, he's the owner, obviously, so he doesn't have to do nothing. So we kind of like let things just happen and uh, we kind of like go with the flow. Newman. Uh, Stuart Webster. Who um, normally looks after all of our student events. And Luca. Who was our web marketer? Um, I just oversaw it all really and watched the magic happen, as it were. Two of the biggest events are the two May Bank holidays. Yeah, now we're doing something big for that. We have uh, Paul Maiko, he's 53, I think. Booked a couple of live acts, autocrats, and do a live synth drumming. Four weeks in advance, blanket cover Southampton, and uh, when it comes to like two weeks beforehand, literally hammer, flyering all the students. So everyone thinks, it's a student town, there's loads of students, let's go to the unis. I mean, we'll see when it comes to the event, how it goes. You know, people like what they like, people know what they like, and you're never changing that. Rammed. It sells itself, you know, why would I have to move with this couch? Touch wood. <laughs> It'll be good. Crap. 
really, really bad. If I'm going to be completely honest, probably could have worked a bit harder. But, I didn't. And, it was a terrible night. Um, couldn't have gone much better to be honest. Everyone pulled pulled together really well. Uh, the vibe was amazing. We had about 797 people through the club, which is amazing as we can only hold 550 at any one time. So we had a queue all night, round until 4 o'clock. Um, a great success.